Oh, whoa! Did Harry just kill Draco? All right, boom. Today we are going to be watching Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. When I tell you I'm thoroughly enjoying Harry Potter, like it's not even a joke. Like I am, I am so excited, and I'm so excited. You can tell that I'm excited because I watched. I think it was something called a Phoenix yesterday. And I'm watching another one today. And I don't, I don't normally do stuff like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it a buck. But if you guys do want to see these episodes uncut, unedited, and early, before they're out, you should head over to the Patreon in the description down below. Um, if you guys are wondering why they're out on early, it's because I have editors that edit them. So that's why they're out early. That's why YouTube, that's why Patreon gets them first. Because YouTube will edit and cut it down. I'm sure you don't know that. Like I said on um, the Something of Phoenix, that uh, Prisoner of Azkaban got blocked. So let me know if you want me to um, upload it or whatever, re-upload it and stuff like that on the YouTube side. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm excited. Oh, this is a, this is a more slowed down. Okay. Is that the woman that killed Longbottom's parents? Whoa! Offy's godfather just died as well. Like, like, damn! Let the boy have his space. He literally lost the only family he had left as well. You know, like, oh my god. Oh, Voldemort! Oh, oh, damn the death niggers! What they're just flying about in London? Jesus! These men are not playing about no more. They're not even trying to hide or stay in hiding. They're going straight to it. I don't think I've ever seen that bridge. Whoa, and I'm not going on that bridge. Oh my God. Jeez. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dropping in the Thames. You men really destroyed a bridge for no reason. Who's Harry Potter? No one. Bit of a tosser, really. <laughs> Bit of a tosser, you know. 11. That's when I get off. You can tell me all about that tosser, Harry Potter. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, Harry. I didn't think that would be your type, but okay. Harry down with the swell. <laughs> hey. Oh, is that someone forming? Oh, Dumbledore. Oh, Dumbledore, what do you want? Last week you was ignoring us. Now you're just pulling up. Take my arm. Whoa. Okay, that looked terrifying. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. Do you know what? Fair play, fair play. I respect that. Wait, is that someone's feet underneath the sofa? Or the chair? It's not even the sofa. Oh! Oh, he is the chair! Oh, wow! Horace? Well, you know who Yeah, I was gonna say what he is, who Harry is. The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? Trying to recruit you? Know why you're here, Albus. Why is he? I don't even know what. What's, why is he here? He hasn't even told us. Also, does Harry's mark on his head get more... How do I say it? Like more easier to see than times because like sometimes it's like very red and then other times it's like you can't you can barely see it like now you can barely see it but in other times when he does stuff it's like red is that when it's hurting him or that would actually, that would actually make emphasis well bye bye horace so is that what wait you just pulled up and then just dipped out repair the yard and all right i'll do it wait what and i expect a raise it's a mad <laughs> time to live in mad oh you said you should live now boy the prices are up. Let me tell you that now. Prices are up. I fear I may have stolen a wondrous night from you, Harry. Yeah, he's about to go on a date. Oh, yeah, I would be horrified to touch his arm again. I can't even lie that. Harry, Harry who? Harry Potter, of course. Whoever Harry is there. I seriously doubt that. No, it's, it's in there. Harry! Wait, why did them two get close like that? When did they get on like hugging terms? I, I didn't really see. I don't think I've seen them chat like 10, 10 times. I didn't. What? Was he about to touch it of uh, right, touch her face? Said Ginny and I had no business going back to Hogwarts. Oh no, that's understandable. Anyway, Dad stepped in, told her she was being balmy, and took a few days, but she came around. No, 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 no. Your mum, your mum's spitting. I can't lie. Like I said, one, you're Harry Potter's friend, which is long. Two, everybody knows Voldemort's back now, and the 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 the, the Daily Press or whatever it's called is not trying to hide it anymore. So you know, it makes sense for your mum to be like, be like, what? I could teach you magic. Do you know what I'm saying? This is Hogwarts we're talking about. It's Dumbledore. What could be safer? Um, really, Harry? After the last how many years you've been at Hogwarts, you really think Hogwarts is safe? <laughs> That's kind of cool that they got a paper burning and spinning around. 
the mouth boy. Is that something to do with his dad? I saw his dad in a news lab. I can't remember what it said. Put it down, Bella. We mustn't touch what isn't ours. What is Snape doing with these, bro? I know he used to work for... Dark Lord told you. Your sister darts me. What is going on? I thought I thought he stopped working for the evil brother. I thought now he was like the spy. Oh! He's... I thought... Yeah, because I think Dumbledore said he was a spy for Dumbledore, right? So, okay, that makes sense then. Don't do Severus. You should be honoured, Sissy. As for Draco. So he's been playing Dumbledore this whole time. But it might be possible for me to help Draco. Oh, Draco Mouth Boy. Oh! Unbreakable vow. The unbreakable vow. Watch over Draco Mouth Boy. Draco Mouth Boy is going to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. I'm not going to lie. Draco can't do that. He's a pussy. Carry out the deed. I will. Oh my god. Oh, you can see the markings on a on a on a on a hand. So then what happens if they break it? The arm get ripped off? Oh damn, the rabbit disappeared. That's in they've got their own shop. Are you not currently dating Dean Thomas? Who's Dean Thomas? Oh, is that Dean Thomas? Everyone got that once from Ollivanders. Oh yeah. I remember that in the first movie. Is it me or do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? Oh, that's Draco's mum. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I did not even... That makes sense though, okay. I'm not gonna lie, Draco is not gonna be able to fill the Dark Lord's wishes. I know that for a fact. Draco is not... Draco is not that guy. Like, he's just really not. Oh, I thought they were... I thought, I thought they were being watched. Oh my god! Bro just appeared out of nowhere. Ah, oh, your vision's blocked. Okay, okay. Okay, it's getting interesting. They've been known to sing on Boxing Day, you know? That looks like one of those um toys. You know them little furry toys back in the day you could get as like a kid. I don't know, I can't remember what they're called. A munchkin or something like that, maybe. I don't know, it looks like that. Oh, please. Why is she just staring at her like that? She's so weird. I like her, but she's such a she's such a weird personality, but I like it. I can't even know. He's one of them. One of what? Uh Voldemort's you little bitches. No, he, yeah, no, he is. I mean, I don't understand why you lot would disagree with that. You don't really know his dad's a deaf ER and you saw his dad attack you lot in the last movie. So why would it be very barking mad to believe that his son, was his name Draco Mouthboy, would follow with his dad footstep when, I'm not being funny, him and his dad kind of like two peas in a pod. Do you know what I mean? Why would that be so unbelievable? I don't, what, because you've known him for years, even though he's been a dick this whole time. You've literally saw his dad working with Voldemort. You don't think Rose that's going to run in a family business or you think he's not got, Voldemort's not going to then just, ah, your dad's maybe out of the picture. Now I'm bringing in your you. And he's, do you know what I mean? Like, why would that be so out of the picture? Look, his father is a deathy. Facts. Facts. I told you. I don't know what I saw. What do you mean? You what are you talking about? You don't know what you what? Wait, what do you wait? Wait, wait. Is she saying she doesn't know if she saw? Wait, I'm so confused. Is she saying she doesn't know that she saw Draco Malfoy's dad as a deaf ear, even though he literally took off his mask in front of the whole gang and was like, "Harry, give me the prophecy." What? That makes no sense. Oh, why is that move? Why is the bag moving? Whoa. Rude to eavesdrop, Potter. Oh. She was dead before you could wipe the drool off your chin. Jesus. Oh my God. We'll draw you right back to London. Oh my God. I, I'm not going to lie. As much as I normally think you're a bitch, you, you, you outplayed, you, you done really well there. Apart from, uh, uh, yeah, no, I can't even, yeah, played, played, played. Oh, it's... What's she still doing on the train? Anike. Whoa! Hello, Harry. <laughs> She's just so unfazed. It's like being with a friend. Oh, I am your friend, do you? That's nice. <laughs> My girl said, Hmm, that's nice. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this this is more like it. You got a barrier now. You meant to get in security in. Well, have you ever fixed a nose before? Oh, he broke his. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, give it a go. Um, uh, would you not rather a teacher do this? A pisky. Oh. Did it work? How do I look? The same. Exceptionally ordinary. 
Damn. Do you know what? I feel like she's one of those friends where if you ever just need the truth, she'll just tell you. Like, she would just be so bluntly honest because she's just so oblivious to lying. That should be one of a, should be one of those really good friends. I'm not even going to lie. Horace Stubble. Oh, yeah, we already saw him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meanwhile, the post of defense against the... Yeah, I was going to say, who's going to be dark across each other? By Professor Snape. Really? Oh, he's finally got a job. What, after what? Six years? That's crazy. Actually, I don't know for six years. This is just movie six. And so I just imagine it goes like year by year, but I don't know. Tom Riddle. That was the name on a gravestone, isn't it? Oh, wait. Is that the name? Is that the brother from the Chamber of Secrets? The memory that we saw. Dark forces penetrate this castle's wall. So why do you keep letting the students back? Now off to bed. Pip, pip. I'll be like, bro, bro, I ain't even finished eating. I mean, it's not cheerful times though, is it? Like literally Voldemort's back. He's lost a couple fingers. You don't need to know the extent. Yes, Miss Granger, sir. Yeah. Damn, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? It's kind of bad. Powerful infatuation or obsession. Why were the girls getting closer to it? Oh my god, look at the girl with a pink thing on her. <coughs> yeah, you, you, you ladies, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Liquid luck. What, if you drink it, you get luck? All of your endeavors succeed. Like a mouth boy thinking, whoa, give me that one here, my boy. I need that for Lord Voldemort. Did a student manage to brew a potion of sufficient quality to claim this prize? Damn, okay. Do you know what? I can see why students would become evil right because if you could make liquid luck or you could make a potion that can attract anybody you want to your cause or like make them fall in love with you or if you can you know turn yourself into a shark or you know do a kill spell that could just get rid of anybody you want with what no evidence because how do they know it was you oh then again though there are people that probably watch it or wand or something like that the same way they kind of knew how harry used his spell but at that point, you're like, all right, cool. But I could see why people would become evil. Do you get what I mean? Like, I, 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 I can understand it. Oh, Jesus. Is that hit someone in the back of the head? Is that moving or something? Why are they struggling to cut it? Just hold it down and cut. Like, why would you only use one hand? It's giving him different instructions. Oh. Crush it, don't cut it. I mean, you were trying to cut and it was like dodging and weaving and that. Oh, her mind is actually like struggling, boy. Is that supposed to happen? So perfect, she does know. not look happy. Here we are then, as promised. Look at that girl behind Ron. Did you not see that? My girl was just eyeing him up like... <sighs> Jesus. Look at her. Where was the pre that I saw? But oh, damn, look at her. She looks obsessed. Yeah, I would keep that book by my side. I can't even lie. Oh. Oh, was that the one from the Chamber of Secrets? The book, Tom Riddle's thing. I was going to say, it's very rarely we get to look at Voldemort in his office by himself. <gasps> and put a ring in it. She's brilliant and we're friends, but no. I feel like it would make sense for Harry to date Miss Granger. No? Like, do, do you know what I mean? I feel like it would make a lot of sense. They're both smart, so... Maybe. Uh, that, yeah, but I feel like she's more on Ron. Because she's always at Ron's house. I can't even lie. So maybe maybe she's more on Ron. I don't know. The day I first met him, I'd like you to see it. I want to see this. Oh, we're getting some backstory and flashbacks from the looks of it, if it's a memory. Yeah, because that's like in the Hogwarts Legacy where they where you put your face in the water in it and um, the memories will come up. Same thing will happen in the other movie. Before we get into that, so if he pours the memory in there, does that mean the memory could never be seen again? Or does that mean like he, like is, is that only like a once in a lifetime trip down memory lane? Well, I guess you could pull that memory from your mind though, right? And then put it into that other thing. He's been here, he's never once had a family visitor. Well, he's an orphan though, right? Is that a young Dumble? Nah, I bet it's the same age, short beard. You can do things, can't you? Oh, what? So he could just stop producing magic, like, without, like, no instructions or nothing. He was just down with it. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. Damn! I can make them hurt. All right, Tom, let's calm down. All right, Tom, damn, let's, let's... I'm different. Prove it. Whoa! What? Wait, you couldn't have just shut the door? <laughs> you know what? The one's there. But you couldn't have, like, used your mind to shut the door, but I had to set the thing on fire. Was that necessary? 
I don't know. That kid looks tapped. I can't lie. So how did he learn? Did wait? So he he could just do that automatically. Like he, he no one taught him. No one nothing. He could just do magic. He could just use magic. He could just do speak to snakes like it was. You didn't bring Professor Slughorn back simply to teach potions, did you, sir? No, I did not. Whoa, whoa! You said Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. What, yeah, what did that mean? What did you mean by that? What? Whoa! When, is this is this child trafficking? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what did you mean collect? What did he? What is it? What did you want from him? Like, what? Whoa! Oh, they're trying to break in. Oh my god, they're trying to break into Hogwarts. <laughs> Thinking about it, actually. If you were just to let the students not go back to Hogwarts, that'd be, I guess there'd be an easier target in the real world, right? Because I guess if Hogwarts, you could do a barrier, which they just haven't done until now. But you've got other teachers that can do magic and you've got other students that can also protect them as well. Uh, yeah, so maybe keeping the kids in Hogwarts is a, is a smart idea. I can't even lie. Oh. Is that the same thing he was like caressing earlier? The, the cabinet? Oh, is this the thingy tryouts? Nah, Ron looks stiff. I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. Whoa! Getting on a first name basis, know what I mean? Damn! I'm not gonna lie, he does seem like a good keeper. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ron ain't Ron ain't about that life. I can't lie. Yeah, nah, he looks confident. D Whoa! Is she like looking away in that? Okay. Nah, he's doing well still. He's doing well still. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Come on, Ron. That is, bro, is not looking confident. I can't lie. Come on, loosen up, bro. You're looking too stiff. Did she just... Did she just move him? Oh. Good save. Maybe, maybe use your hands though. Bro. Oh my God, girl, calm down. Jesus Christ. It's got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione. Poor Mike. You should file. Oh, really? And if you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. What is up with this girl? Yeah, yeah. Why are we... better than you, Hermione. Oh, uh, that's why she's upset. Okay. The binding is fragile. I mean, it doesn't like the book's breaking up. Who's the half-blood prince? Who? That's what it says right here. Why is she getting involved? We ain't seen this girl talk for like... Four movies, and now she wants to be robbing books and getting involved, becoming a main character. Nah, go back to being a side girl. Oh, never mind. You could be a main character. Just gave it back. Fair enough. Does anyone fancy a butter beer? I'm down for a bar beer. Three beers and some Is he here because of mouth boys? Is he here because of the teacher? I'm not sure. Oh, you're sitting in the corner with a. They're, no, they're not only holding hands. Oh my god! I like to leave. It is his, it is his sister. To be fair, yeah, that must be so awkward. She looked over here and saw you studying me. Would you expect her to get up and leave? That's a very, very random. I'm not gonna lie, Hermione. Hermione, you helped out Ron with the ting, and now you talk about snogging Ron. Okay, I right, Ron, I'll make a move. I can't even lie. I used to throw together the occasional supper party. A select supper party. Did he see that with Tom Riddle? Get to know him. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It must be important. He's allow him to what he collect you or something like that. Is she a bit is she a bit Oh who's screaming like that? I want to not to touch it. Touch what? Whoa! Touch what? What the fuck? What does she touch? What the fuck is going on? What just what just happened? She thought she got possessed. Do not touch that, except for the rapids. What is it? What is it? Is that a book? With an is that a necklace? She said it was important that she deliver it. So why did she open it then? To Professor Dumbledore. Very well, thank you, Leanne. You may go. Oh, you think that was like a trap to get Dumbledore to do like a cursed object? So if, if Dumbledore was to touch it, he would have been the one. Look at possessing the air, but then she got maybe she got a bit inner and then decided to like be like, oh my god, let me touch it. It is always you three. I mean, okay, let's break this down. One, it's Harry Potter, and he is connected to Voldemort, which kind of makes sense. Two, nine times out of ten, when it is when they're there, it's never actually them that do anything. Like it's normally just something around them that happens or something calls to them. Well, mainly Harry. 
to be in that situation. It's not even their fault. I can't even lie. It's never really their fault. Like I said, beating Harry Potter's friend is long, but they didn't even do anything this time. It was Malfoy. Oh, that is a mad accusation. Got evidence? I just know. Oh, shit. But the thing is, though, Snape knows it probably was Malfoy, but obviously, because he's done that bind, that bonding, curse thing, obviously, he's got to protect him. Gifts a mere mortal who's going to dream of possessing. But we get it. You don't like him because his dad bullied you, or we get it. Do you know what I was thinking? Do you remember in The Prison of Azkaban, where the rat thing, the rat's name was coming up? Did, and obviously, Ron's brothers had the book. Did they not see the rat's name? next to Ron majority of the time when the rat was next to Ron and they did not see the name that popped up on the book because obviously they looked at it to sneak out but I'm, I would assume they must have like maybe looked at it once or twice to look at their brother or their other siblings you know what I mean? so would they not have seen the guy's name like as Ron's rat next to him because obviously it was it was it was his name that popped up in it and I'm and I'm assuming people knew what happened to them right so I was just I was just curious about that one. Sorry. What about you, Miss Granger? What exactly does your family do in the Muggle world? My parents are dentists. <laughs> that's actually a really good profession, though. I can't lie. That's a that's a well-paid job. Damn. Ugh, bro was like. Anyone who aspires to be anyone hopes to end up here. Oh, to be like with all these students, right? Did Voldemort ever make the shelf, sir? Whoa! You knew him, didn't you, sir? Tom Riddle? You were his teacher. Just like that? He killed my parents. <laughs> so, okay, okay. How did you become a, How did you become the biggest villain? It was buried deep within. Right. I mean, to be fair with you, he was already hurting students at like, what, the age of seven or six or whatever, however old was an orphan, so. Hello, everyone. Oh, what are you wearing? <laughs> Honestly. Is it a tonic? Listen. Oh, liquid luck. Don't drink it, Ron. Oh yeah, I would back that. I can't even lie. I would back that. Oh my god, so he used his liquid luck thing on Ron. He's spelled for that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> my nickel. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. Uh, but that's stuff that I would do. Like, if I could brew that, I'm brewing that all the time. Oh, 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 that's a really good interception. Ooh! Come on, Ron, over that liquid luck. What a save. He's on point. We ain't seen, we ain't seen Quidditch in a minute. Oh, damn, he got knocked out. That's Ron's sister, right? Oh, played! Uh, not a slow mo shot. Weasley, 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 Weasley. My man down here doing bits. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that liquid luck, that liquid luck's looking like a vibe. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, 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 hey. Didn't put it in. Oh, so Ron was that good this whole time. Oh my God. Look at Hermione's face. Oh, damn. Is she crying? Her mind? I'm not gonna lie. If she cared that deeply for him, why did she not just move to him? Just Hermione, darling, darling, darling. If you cared this deeply for young Ronald, why didn't you not just... Like, you've had all the time in the world to express your feelings. And I'm not gonna lie. You know Ron would have been like, oh my God, yes. You know what I'm saying? If you just flat out asked him, and man, listen, Ron, I like you. I want to be with you. I want you to myself. Ron would have been like, hell yeah. Or bloody hell. Yeah. Like he wouldn't have said no. So, but if you cared, if you, if you're caring that much that you're crying about it, why, like, why don't you not just do it? Because I don't think Ron's going to do it to you. He's a kind of a, I don't really, he doesn't really seem the type of guy to take the lead like that. Oh, wow. Oh my God. She looks few. Oh, damn. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you, I'm not gonna lie. You can't be mad at Ron. Like, I'm so sorry, but you can't be mad at Ron. You haven't even expressed your feelings towards him. Like, I know you might have dropped a couple hints, but Ron does, Ron is a bit dense. I'm not gonna lie. Unless you flat out make a move like that girl did. 
Ron is not gonna know that you're into him. I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't really think you can be upset with Ron. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Sorry, I felt like the perfect time to sing that. Damn! What else is gonna be up to now? Stay away. Oh, what's my boy doing? To be fair, though, for when you work with the Dark Lord, I can imagine you having a lot on your mind. Who? Oh, that's the one that I thought was pretty. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take her. Ask someone I like. Someone cool. No, no, no. Take her. She's baddie. Do you know what? Yeah. No, no. I like her. I like her. I can't lie. She's she's funny. What? <laughs> she's so random. She's so random. I've never been to this part of the castle. Well, not while awake. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her. She would be such a great, like, she's just such a good vibe of person. You're back here, or is this just a repeat of what you've done before? An apple. The apple's gone? The apple's back? And someone's taking a bite out of it. And what happened to you? No, I've just escaped. Just escaped from what? I left Cormac under the mistletoe. I thought it would annoy Ron the most. Oh. God, here he comes. Stupid little minx, your friend. What? Her mouth too, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would not let her talk about my friend, uh, my friend like that. Dragon balls. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, he's throw up on his. Wait, why are they not just allowed to stand there? By the way. Lurking in an upstairs corridor. Oh, escort him. Okay. Look how much he's grown, though. He's got a lot taller. So wait, so they got rid of the Asian twins for two white twins? Because we ain't seen the two Asian twins from the, was it the last movie or the Goblet of Fire? I remember the Goblet of Fire. And but now they've got two other random twins. But instead of keeping them Asian, they just made them white. Fair enough. I did hex that bell girl. Hex that bell girl. Whoa! I made the unbreakable. That was the unbreakable vow, yeah. No. Who's watching or who's listening? Harry! Uh played! Yes! And now we know that Snape is working with him. Oh my god! Nah, Ron looks tired of her. Yeah, nah, Ron looks tired of her. I can't even lie. Oh, that's cringy though, I can't. Oh god, why don't you just go in the cavern with him? <laughs> My lips are getting chapped. Look, I'm gonna take your word for it. <laughs> I thought, what happened to, what happened to un, uh... What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Wait, really? I thought his armor just came off because it's only on his arm. You're blinded by hate. I'm not. Yes, you are. Why would he hate Snape? Well, if we start fighting amongst ourselves, we're doomed. I'm not gonna. Uh, but the thing is, though, right? The thing is, hear, hear me out. 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 Harry doesn't know what an unbreakable vow was until he heard it from Snape's mouth himself, right? It's not like you go around saying all that stuff. He heard it, so obviously it must mean something. You know what unbreakable vow means. Right, he's never said it before, so would it not would it not be like raw if Snape said something like that? That is a bit suspicious, you know. And I get it, I get it. Dumbledore trusts him, but Dumbledore's still still only a man. Like men make mistakes. He said it himself. He's made mistakes. Like I know, I you get what I mean. Now let's not be. Let's not just put our um unblinded faith in one man. Because that could lead to... I don't even know what that was. That could lead to... I can, I can get this word out. That could lead to... Ah, okay, never mind. We're moving on. We're moving on. Catastrophical. Is that the right word? Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe. I'm struggling, boy. Jesus Christ. As for Draco Malfoy, I know a bit more. Oh, talk to me nice. What you and Ron saw at the end of the summer. So that he was caressing, yeah. The vanishing cabinet. Okay, that makes sense. We saw the apple vanish. Simply had to 
slip inside and disappear for an hour or two. Right. What happened to her? Nothing. Still there. Seeing Hogwarts. Yeah, that's where Draco's finding it. So what is he doing with the vanishing thing? Like, I know obviously he's he's learning it because obviously we saw him put the apple in, put the apple back, and then the apple came back with a bite. So obviously he vanished it somewhere. Someone bit it, and then he obviously can't got it back, but he obviously didn't eat the whole apple. Maybe just let him know that it's working. Do you get what I'm saying? Who's watching? Someone's there. Because we saw, like, someone's there. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, it's her! Wait, 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 Harry, what the fuck are you doing? Harry, what are you doing? Harry, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, yes, she did confuse. Like it makes sense why he would run after her. I can't even lie. Oh god, oh god, okay. Okay, 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 okay. She's luring him. Because she could easily fight him. She's luring him. She stopped singing. Is he about to get jumped? Logan, whoa, what is that? Oh, is that a death nigga? Oh, it's the guy that we saw when he closed the window. Oh, he just, he just, he just. Oh, damn, oh, damn. Oh, play, they're blocking it. I don't know, them two are doing well though. I just want to say, well done. Okay, cool, now there's five of you. Has he just run away? Oh no, the house! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Yeah, no, nah, being Harry Potter's friend is long, bruv. I can't lie. You have to who you are, Harry. Yeah, nah, she's got a point though. Nah, 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 she's actually got a point. She's got a point. I can't lie to you. Like, honestly, I feel... But the thing is, the only, do you know what the deep thing is? He's got nowhere else to go. Like, he really does have nowhere else to go. He only, like, the Wheezy residence is probably the safest place for him because there's other people that know magic, right? If he went back to Sutton, living with the muggles, they would have been able to, they would have, they would have got to him quick as, quick as dicks. You get what I mean? Oh, but obviously then you feel sorry for Ron and the Wheezy family because it's like, they've put up with this. They've had to deal with this because, I mean, to be fair, one, their husband is probably invested in, in the ministry so it, it would make sense for him to be a target plus they did have other no i didn't yeah no you did you did have some people there that they probably wanted to get killed so no nah, that makes it wasn't just harry's fault to be fair and not in that situation wait is dumbledore back was that tom the other professors they're not like you okay something rather odd about a bit of rare magic i'm not gonna lie for something that's a restricted section a lot of students can easily just go in there don't, don't you think about such things and if i did i wouldn't tell you wait what was it whoa what did he say what happened yeah i we didn't it's the most important memory i've collected but we didn't even see what he said this memory has been tampered with you can tamper with memories i suspect he's ashamed of it because maybe he didn't, maybe in when he asked, when Tom asked that question, he didn't push him out. When Tom asked that question, maybe he gave him the information that he needed. Maybe that's why he tampered with it. That would make, that's the only possible sense that I could think of. Because everything else in the memory was fine. There wasn't anything fishy apart from what Tom asked. And unless he gave him the information that he asked for, obviously we don't know. That's why he could be ashamed of it. I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. I yeah, I was going to say, it ain't really that close like that. I can't lie. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. Right, you need to find out what... <laughs> it isn't the Prince of Potions himself. The Prince of Potions? That's actually kind of fire. It just got me wondering, are there some kinds of magic you're not allowed to teach? Of course. Like dark cards, punches, right? I think your question is better be posed to Professor Snape. No, no, no. You can't even trust that nigga. I can't even lie. He's not like you. You might misunderstand. Okay. Is that what you told Tom Riddle, sir, when he came asking questions? Bro, he is not holding back. Like, he is not holding back. I would have thought you would have, like, you know, you saw the pineapple. I thought you would have got, like, got him, like, a pineapple to, like, lighten him up or something. And my bro just went straight in for the cutthroat question. Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He really did. Didn't he? Yeah, Harry, that was not the best way. If anything, you've, 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 you've pushed back the... 
I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy with that. Yeah, so I'm saying you've pushed, you've pushed him back now. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Ron, you good? I love her. Brilliant. Is he under a, a spell? Well, the chocolate's like, nah, bro's gotta be, it's gotta be something going on with the chocolates because that is not like him. I'm gonna introduce you to Ramilda Vane. What, wait, right now? What's the matter with Wimby? Very powerful love potion. Right, a love potion. I thought this called for more practiced hands, sir. <laughs> Man said hello, darling. <laughs> Full of questions about Voldemort. Yeah. Don't yeah. Use that name. Oh. Is Ron good? <laughs> oh my god. All right, just just sit there. Just 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 sit there. Ron right, kicked in already. Damn, is he pouring wine to kids? Well wait, 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 five, six years, they were fourteen, so they're sixteen now. I Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Why is he foaming? What the hell is going on? Well, run, 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 run. Come on, run, breathe. What the fuck? What the f What just happened? Quick thinking on your part, Harry, using a bazaar. Yeah, well, proud of your student, Horace. I mean, bro was sitting there doing nothing. Like, traumatized, PTSD. Hints of licorice and cherry, but not polluted with poison. Oh, the drink's poisoned. To give it as a gift myself. To you, headmaster. Oh. Where's my one one? Oh. No, I don't think he has. He said Hermione. He said Hermione. Oh, Damn! <laughs> Mr. Weasley is well tended. So who gave bro the drink then? Who gifted him the drink? If you were going to gift that to young Dumble. Wow. Uh, wow, look at how happy in that though. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, let, let them do their thing. Let, let, let them do their thing. Let them do their thing. She's hella chuffed, bless her. Oh, shut up. What's Draco doing? I'm not gonna lie, you should follow him. I would follow him. Oh, he's gone to that machine. Like that. So how does he get that covered? Uh, I guess with magic though, right? Okay, okay, that's fair enough. Oh, now he's trying it with like a live creature. Is he sending stuff to there? That makes sense. That actually makes sense. Oh, it died. She came to visit you in the hospital and you talked. Mumbled, more like, but yeah. Yes, he doesn't look well. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I might commit a mass murderer. Katie, how are you? Oh, the one that was in the air. The one that was like doing the madness. Well, it's obvious now who did it. It's very fucking obvious now. Oh, it's. V oh my god, you just made it even more obvious now. Why would he walk into the room to then walk out after seeing Katie? That don't make no sense. Malfoy, you are horrible at like trying to see the truth, boy. Bro looks stressed. Oh my. Oh, right, because he did say maybe I did hex that girl, maybe I didn't. That's who he was talking about with Snape. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn! Oh, what? No, what? Battle, no talking. I'm down. Oh, damn, they both thought the same thing. Played. Oh, you cut him deep. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Did Harry just kill Draco? And then Snake just resurrected, well, revived him. That's the same place that Draco was. It is a bird. So one of the birds returned from being teleported? Why did she whisper it? <laughs> Close your eyes. No, 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 not, not Ron's sister, bro. Oh, God. Not your best friend's sister. Ain't no way. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Still no luck with Slug on then, I take it. He is avoiding him. All I need is a bit of luck. 
Oh, okay. I wonder what that tastes like. I'm going down to Hagrid's. What? Wait, why is he going down to Hagrid's? It's, it's the place to be tonight. <laughs> no. No. And to be fair, we ain't seen Hagrid since he was the train thing. We ain't seen him all movie. What's, what are you doing, Professor? <laughs> I'm off to Hagrid's, you see. He's a very dear friend. Harry. Well, then, by all means, come along. <laughs> uh, fair, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, is that a spider? How ever did you manage to kill it? My oldest friend, he was. Yeah, oh, it died. Seriously misunderstood creature spider. I mean, he did, he did try to eat Harry. Not to mention the pincers. <laughs> it was a student who gave me Francis. Oh, okay. Floating on the surface was a flower petal. A flower petal? Before it reached the bottom, it transformed to a wee fish. Oh, wow. That's fire. Was it Tom? Your mother. Oh. But I can't help you. It would ruin me. He did change the memory. Well, we know he did, but... I need to know what Tom Riddle asked. Be brave, Professor. Uh, Bruce, stop being a bitch. Otherwise, the bowl will remain empty. Okay. Aye, Harry's spin. Aye, that's, that was a very good choice of words. I'm not going to lie. Don't think badly of me when you see it. No, 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 we won't. I respect you for just... He's taking out the memory. Oh, fire, so we'll get to, we'll get to see it. But you need, like, a bowl of water? Okay, Harry got the ting. I guess I guess going to Hagrid's was a was a great choice then. I wonder if Mama's like, let me go first and then you can watch after. Okay, what did he say? Horcrux. Horcrux? What's that? An object which a person has concealed part of their soul. Concealed part of their soul. By doing so, you are protected should you be attacked and your body destroyed. Right, so that's why we got his soul in the book. In other words, you cannot die. Right, unless the object is killed though, right? Like destroyed. To rip the soul into seven pieces. It'll be our little secret. To split his soul into seven pieces. So Voldemort has split his soul into seven pieces? And the ring? Belong to Voldemort's mother. Even more difficult to destroy. Oh, is that how he's are uh, Whoa! So that's how his hand got like that. I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that happened in the fight of Voldemort, but okay, fair enough. You could find them all if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. Oh! Yeah, how could you find them? And I think perhaps I may have found another. I cannot hope to destroy it alone. Okay! Being me has its privileges. It's fair, fair enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a mission with just Dumbledore and Harry? Ugh, that's kind of fire. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, right? If I split my soul into seven and I wanted to hide it somewhere, I'm just gonna drop it in the deepest parts of the ocean where no man can ever go to. Where did the, where did the Titanic sink? I'm dropping it there. No one can go there. I, I'm dropping it in there like a, in a secured magic box or something like that. Do you know what I mean? No one ever be able to find that or destroy it. Oh. Your blood's much more precious than mine. That is very true. That is very true. Is he doing that? Oh, it's a bow. Oh, fire. Okay, cool. Oh. You remember the conditions on which I brought you with me? Do whatever he says. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this potion. Oh. So far, so good. Oh, shh. Oh shit, after one drink, after one sip. Oh my God. His hand, I mean, it looks a lot worse than before. I can't even lie. He's got to drink it though. Yeah, yeah, he's got to drink it. Oh God. Oh shit. Oh, not a lot. Okay, not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Oh, please, please Dumbledore. Please Dumbledore, please Dumbledore. Oh, please Dumbledore. Oh, bless him. Harry. He's back. Oh, is that the... Oh, we can't. Wait, why can't he pick up the water now? That cup stopped working. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't use that water. I would not use that water. Um, Why did I just dip out? Why... Is Dumbledore alive? Oh, my God. 
god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god what the fuck was that what is that nah 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 you may go to aoe damage spell no you might not done out where's dumbledore oh my god Look how many not as bare of them. That's gotta be dumb to swim up, Harry. Swim, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up. Damn! Oh my god. Oh, brilliant, Dumbledore. Brilliant, brilliant. This nigga is powerful. Um They're inside Hogwarts. They're inside Hogwarts. They're inside Hogwarts. Oh, wow. He, oh, wow. He's got the mark. I'm not going to lie. Harry, kill him. Please let me help you. No, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I feel like he's too far gone. You got to kill him. You kind of have no choice at this point. Yeah, I agree. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, shit. So you are on, you are on Dumbledore? Please, have I the cadaver? Oh! Oh! So all this time he was, so all this time he was more on Voldemort's side than he, so he was like, so all this time? What the fuck? Oh my god! What the f- I don't even know what to say. Wait, how are you going after them? Yeah! Oh my god, Hagrid! Oh shit! So why didn't you just- so is that why you left him? Because he just sprung to the Dark Lord? Why did him to shh? I thought you were going to go save him. I thought he was going to go save him. That's why he went to have shh. Like, I thought... Dare use my own spells against me, Potter. Bro, fuck you. I'm the Half-Blood Prince. What? Wait, what? You're the Half-Blood Prince? Oh my god, Hagrid wasn't at the house. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Where was he then? Wait, so Voldemort's- Wait, sorry, Dumbledore's there and no teachers went that to students move. Let's, like, let's take care of it. You managed to stay watching his dead body. He fully trusted him and Harry tried to warn niggas as well. Harry literally said, bro, Snape is doing- but the thing is, the right. The thing is, right. I wasn't sure if he was playing undercover of both sides. Like if he was, if he was undercover for the people, though. Like I know we done the Unbreakable Bond thing, but maybe that might have been him ready to. I, that, maybe that might have been him ready to sacrifice himself for Dumbledore. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously he was in a position where he kind of had to do it. Do you know what I'm saying? So I kind of just when, like when he was talking to Dumbledore, he's like, I need to. I want to stop, please. And I was like, like, like what? Like what? Like I don't. Oh my god, I, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even, the school's gonna get shut down now, right? Draco fucking mouth boy, you know, fucking hell. Do you think he would have done it? In the end it was Snape, I did nothing. He told you not to do anything though, like he literally told you not to, like he said, don't, like stay hidden. You really think you're going to be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself, do you? Not gonna lie, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. If they're scattered across everywhere, then yeah, you need as much people as you possibly can. I can't even lie. I'll get everybody you know, and just well, everybody you know and can trust to get to searching. I'm not gonna lie though, with the, with the Ginny situation, I feel like Harry should have been man like man up to Ron and been like, listen, I like your sister, and I wanna I'll get your permission. Do you know what I mean? As as his best friend, you know, I feel like that's fair. You know, Jesus Christ, I can't, I can't. I can't believe that. That like it's more of like it, it, 
it's confusing because throughout the move at the beginning of the movie you think all right so snape's a traitor but then in previous movies they say snape's a spy for dumbledore right so you then kind of get the thing that okay so what the unbreakable bond thing that he did was probably his putting his life on the line because he had to do it to a certain extent right so i'm assuming he must have told dumbledore this ah oh, man i don't know okay well this was a great this was great because you know there's so much the amount of lore and backstory that dropped in this episode like just about tom and voldemort when he was younger and growing up like even from a youth you could see that he was a bit messed up you know what i mean he was into the darkness he was talking about talk about splitting your soul into seven like why would why specifically seven do you know what i'm saying damn all right anyway if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like uh subscribe leave a like if you guys want to see the next harry potter movie and yeah catch you done in a bit peace